So is it possible to build a working circular runway in City Skylines? Do the planes like it? Will they take off? Well, I've built one here and we are going to have a look at this together, see how it works and see how you can do the same. Okay, let's dive in and see how this goes. Right, let's take this one step at a time. First of all, you're going to need a nice piece of land to be able to build this on. So we're going to buy an extra couple of squares at the edge of this pre-made city. There we go. And then you want to remove all of the trees. Now, I tend to do that with the forest brush because it just seems to work instantly a lot quicker than doing it with the airport area tool. So let me just remove all of these. And we've got access, as you can see, to a train line here, which is good. And we have access to rows into the city. Right, so then you want to build, of course, your district. So we're going to grab the paint and airport area tool, and we are going to get a nice big airport area in here. There we go, all done. We have the King Airport, and of course we need to build terminals, aircraft stands, and runway. Well, let's start with the runway. This is the hardest thing that we're gonna build uh, because it's gonna be an odd shape. Now, perhaps you've just purchased the new airport DLC and you wish to try and draw a circular runway. Well, unfortunately, with the DLC runway, you can't do it. There's no option. Uh, to draw in a circle like you would get here with a curve road, road tool or anything if you have this mod installed. Um, you don't get those same options uh, with your airport DLC runway. And even once you've drawn it, you can't use move it mod. There seems to be a lack of nodes that you can grab hold of. You can grab some of the decals and move them around. And there are a couple of nodes in here, but not enough to try and turn this into a circle. So that is not going to work. So what do you need to do? Well, I would suggest... Uh, go into the workshop and download in yourself uh, taxiways or runways. Now, we've got this great big pack here, which is by Seb Nicole. This is runways and taxiways, and it's got a whole load of different ones made out of all sorts of different things. Yeah, you could use that. Or I've just got here the normal airplane runway. Now, I believe this is added to the game by more networks, the more networks mod. So we've got the airplane runway and we have the aviation club runway that now shows up. But we're gonna use the standard airplane runway. So let's draw this out first of all. We can draw that in a nice straight line, any length that you want. And then if we start building off of here, ah, oh, look, you can see it starts being a little bit circular, which is good. So we can actually do that all the way around and connect that up. Didn't even need to use the Anarchy mod. Okay, so how do we get this actually into a circle? Well, what you could do is use this tool. So if we go into our Network Multi-Tool, there's an option in here to arrange at circle mode. So if we click that, and then what you do is you go around, there we go, all of the nodes that are in here, and we go all the way back around to the end again. There we go, I've just redrawn this shape so it's a little bit smaller, but you can see once it realizes that it makes a complete circle. It then goes purple, left click, and then we're going to get the size there. Press enter. So now we have our circle. And if you get a bit of weirdness in the middle like this, you can just grab this, draw over the top, delete it, and that will be gone. Excellent. Right. So now we have a circular runway. It almost seemed too easy, didn't it? Well, now we can start using the normal taxiways that come with the game. And we want to do a little bit of work here. So first of all, I'm going to brace this straight across from one side to the other. And rather than build the standard circular airport concept design, uh, which I can show you a picture of now. Here we go. This is the concept design uh, that was put together by some very clever boffins. Uh, there's also a BBC video um, that I will link to below, which is quite interesting on how they came up with this design and the tests that they did. And also, I would like to give a shout out to Teddy Radko, who actually put this up on Reddit only, oh, it says, six days ago. I found it yesterday when I was doing research for this video. Um, and they have built this in City Skyline. So there we go. You can go and check out that. I'll put that as a link below. But we're going to do something slightly different. Let me show you why. So here we are back in the game. Yeah, I wanted to treat this a little bit differently. To try and treat it as a runway roundabout. I'm not quite sure what you would call that. But uh, <laughs> yeah, that is my idea anyway. So what I'm going to do um, is I want to get some markings on here set up. So we get some nodes in the place where we need them so i'm going to do this there we go on each entrance
Okay, there we go. So it doesn't really matter which way these are facing, but that is just so we can now have the nodes that we need on this outside section here for ways in and out of this roundabout. So what I was thinking actually was these ones here, that could come out, and then if we could line that up, that could go in. So that means that could turn around. Uh, we don't need that bit there. And that would then connect to this central section here, which would then, I guess, uh, need to be a roundabout, wouldn't it? That would make sense. So we're actually going to have a runway roundabout and we're going to have a taxiway roundabout as well. Okay, there we go. This is all set up. And in the middle section here, I'm using this two-way taxiway from Seb Nicole to connect this up here so they can come in and out of our taxiway about. Right, okay. So I want to get four airports uh, set up in this area around here. So it really doesn't matter which ones that we use. Um, so I'm just going to pick uh, modern airport terminal. Yep, that will do. And we're going to hook these up in here. And we want enough plane stand options for small, medium, and large. And by the way, I'm using the unlock all mod so I can have access to this. So the idea is, is we're gonna have uh, with our small three and we'll get four across there and that would then go out there and that would give access to that. So let me set these up around here. I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger to give us a little bit more space and see what we can get going. Okay, there we go. So we've got space for small, medium and large stands here connected around the outside. And of course, all of these are going to need some roads so people can get in and out of the city. So I'm just thinking for now, we might just make this um, as basic as possible. And yeah, just connect these up with some roads like this in a nice big square around the outside. I think that'll be fine. There we go. Excellent. Roads hooked up all around the outside. And then, of course, we need a road bringing all of the people into the place. So I'm just going to run this road right out the back into there. And let's see what happens. Oh, I'll tell you what is going to happen. They're all going to complain about a lack of water and power. So let me sort that out for them. OK, there we go. That should be OK. And then actually, before we unpause and start getting all these planes going everywhere, um, something that was mentioned uh, when this design was, uh, when they come up with this design, was that this needs to be banked just as you would go round a fast road and it would bank on the outside if you were going on, on this, uh, this way round. Then we can do that as well. We can do that with node controller. Now it takes a little bit of fiddling around. Let's just do this section here first of all. Um, and also actually before we, can, we do that, I'm going to remove some nodes. So if we've got any nodes that are too close together, like this node here, uh, we're going to click to remove that one. Uh, we've got a node there, node there, node there. This one, probably a little bit too close. That one's too close. And then I think we're okay. All right, yeah. So we'll go back to node controller. Select that node there. And we've got an option for twist. Um, we need to use our eyeballs to look here because it doesn't always work the same way each time. So I'm using my middle mouse button to scroll. And I'm going to go for a minus 10 bank on that. That is, that is, quite, a, that is quite a bank. And then we right click to deselect that node and then left click for the next one. There we go. And I'm going to do a minus 10 on there. And the reason we need to use our eyeballs is because sometimes it's a plus 10. And it just catches you out for no reason at all. So minus 10. So there we go. Look, so there's there's different things you can do. We could bank that round like that. We'll flatten the ground out. Oh, there we go. Look, this one here. I've done minus exactly the same as the rest, but it's banked it the wrong way. So unless you want this all being a complete disaster, <laughs> then you want to just, yeah, be careful what's going on there. So there we go. I think that's okay. That's all banked around nicely. We just need to smooth out the land around here. So yeah, nobody is smacking their wingtips into the ground. There we go. There we go. So we can now unpause. Let's have a look at our airport. What's it saying now? Attractiveness score. Well, we don't know what that's going to be yet until we've unpaused them let it run we should have water and power let's speed this up oh and the planes are coming out okay let's just pause a second make sure no we don't have any power at all hmm. because i completely forgot it okay let's hook power up to all of these there we go power for everybody and let's just follow this plane here okay well he's like reversing out on okay fair enough you want to reverse out onto it that is no problem at all and let's just see how this works. Is he gonna? He's gonna take off with absolutely no problem at all. We've got a large plane in front of us. 
Yep, he's taken taken off on a different segment. Let's just watch this for a moment. So I bet there's some sort of way of working this out. So these will probably come around here and end up taking off down here. These will go around and take off over here somewhere. But it works. It does work. So we've got these planes over here that will be leaving in a moment. They're all getting loaded up with their luggage. Just have a quick sip of tea while we're waiting for that. Lovely. You know, whenever you're ready. Whenever you're ready is fine by me. And here they go. So I reckon they're going to end up taking off over here somewhere. Oh, there's someone. Oh, there's a couple more. And they're coming into land. Look at that. Perfect. Perfect execution. There we go. So he just took that little segment. I wonder if there's a, like an amount of nodes. So he's gone all the way from here to over there. So it's not an amount of nodes because there's a load of nodes in between here. But it's working. <laughs> it is absolutely working. So here comes another one. So what I would like to do now is level this thing up and we do have everything unlocked i've, I've used the uh, inbuilt vanilla unlock all mod to get access to everything i'd like to add cargo into this and some other mass transit and really get this thing humming with planes and also something in the middle here oh do you know what i wasn't going to build something in the middle but i've just thought we've got this one here oh i know what would be even better this one here classic concourse hub Oh, look at that. That is like the perfect shape. Oh, man. How many? Okay, remove all of these. How many stands can I fit around this? Let's fill it up with small stands. I want planes coming and going. Okay, probably not perfect, but I'm sort of lining it up with this strut there. So two on each side. Oh, man, this is fantastic. Two on each side. Excuse me. Still struggling from this cold that I've had. And then we're going to get this thing hooked up as well. Oh, look at that. Look at that. And then can I just pick this and get that going into each side? And hopefully this will quite happily work with these. Okay, we're going to put a couple in there just because we're going to pop one in there. That means that's going to have a couple, and it looks like it's working. Oh, I'm just going to use the Move It mod, just to move that back a bit so it doesn't look so odd. Just to move that back a bit so it doesn't look so odd. Oh, man, this is good. You know, I even just want to put a little bit of concrete in there. Just to close up these little gaps here. Oh, oh my goodness me. Here come all the planes. So it seems like whenever you place one of these, they automatically just spawn a plane and go for it. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, this is going to be fantastic. Let's get a nice bird's eye view. Sip a celebratory sip of tea while all these planes taxi out and take off on our circular runway. Yeah, some of them do like to do an, an instant takeoff, don't they? <laughs> I think that is just the unfortunate aircraft ai it will do that anyway there isn't what, what I, I mean i'm not a i'm not an ai programmer but in my mind i would say to the aircraft you have to pass over x amount of nodes of runway before you can take off so that would stop you sort of coming out of here like this guy might do going out there out there going one node and taking off instantly it would make him go a little bit further i guess he's going that way isn't he Oh, but look at that. It works. It works. This is brilliant. Okay, so the next thing is getting these lovely people here out to the outside. Uh, which way is our city? Uh, over this way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend this one here. Um, let's grab... I can't even remember what this was. Modern airport. So let's grab our modern... That's this one here. Our modern concourse. And I'm going to build that out... Yeah, we're going to build that out this way. There we go. And then we're going to add onto the side of that some public transport. We're going to put an elevated metro station. There we go. And then we're going to connect that up to uh, the rest of the city. Let's just draw this out here. There we go. I've just had to move that back a bit to make some room. And then we're going to grab this line here again. We're going to bring it all the way to the end this time. There we go, and then we'll add a couple of stops here on that side and on that side. There we go. 
excellent so now people can get into the central section here and then i'm thinking let's have a look we've got our train line that comes through here but over here i would like to add a connection for some cargo so let's maybe just remove what we've got over here and make ourselves some space okay so we've got the cargo airport terminal which is here that needs to hook up to a road in fact i'm going to try that's got to go the other way around doesn't it i'm going to try and line that up so this road that's going through here there we go excellent so that will be trucks can bring in cargo from here and then what i'm going to do is use i think that is the medium one yeah we're going to hook that up there and we're going to upgrade all of this all along here as well and hook that up into the city There we go and then we're going to add some cargo aircraft stands onto here as well so we can probably add a couple of those onto here on each side if i just get rid of some of this other stuff that's on here oh, and i just realized that when i added this in it's created its own airfield and um, i would like this all to be part of the king airfield there there you go nice and simple nothing too complicated make sure everybody's now got power after i disconnected that from everywhere and then make sure that these cargo stands well they're all hooked up that should be okay once that goes around need a bit more water down here yeah so we need a way for these to get in and then out so what i'm going to do is delete all of those and we're going to do something like this i think that will work fine there we go and already the trucks are coming look at that they are bringing their cargo so it shouldn't be too long that we can start adding some cargo to the mix there we go cargo trains are going through and get some cargo planes flying out of here as well oh now that's interesting because i put this in its own area by mistake it needs an aircraft stand and a runway i'm wondering whether now this is something i wanted to test is whether we can share runways so if i open this out a little bit to here so that should now i'm going to actually take all of these aircraft stands in the the cargo ones so that should now be ticked on there yes can we share the runway so if i just bring that out like this does that count as having a runway oh not yet is it because it needs to be bigger let's take in maybe half of this there we go does that count no it doesn't is it because i need to take in these ones here so they can get in and out as well let's see no okay interesting 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 so what i'm going to do is just rebuild this so it's part of the king airport and there they are coming into land no problem at all excellent and there we go just deleted it and made the area for the king airport bigger and that's all yeah that's all working fine excellent so that is now coming and going now what i would like to do is get enough people in here to level this thing up because i really want to start my own airline and i'm just wondering because i've got the unlock all mod on whether i could just do that anyway um without waiting for it to get to that level let's have a look airline headquarters building we're going to pop that along the road up here there we go that's gone in that's got power probably hasn't got any water so let's give that some water there we go and does that unlock it on here it does excellent so what are we going to call this one we need some sort of circular name hmm let me just have a quick think while we're waiting for all of our cargo planes to turn up okay got a name i love this one after a little bit of googling oh no where do i want to click i want to click on this it's all the way over here this is going to be orbicular air and i love that that is a fantastic name um let's pick something that's a bit round that's got round on it and then let's have something that's a bit lime green yeah there we go excellent ticket prices we'll do whatever and then we've got to wait for our own orbicular airplanes that are nice and green here they are the first ones heading out on the king oh we need we need a better name king airport you give me another name i mean we could just name the whole thing the orbicular airport but i'm sure you can come up with something funky let me know and that looks like a cargo plane in the background 
So they're working as well. But I want to see my orbicular air airline planes take off when you're ready. Okay, we're going to follow this guy. You're too slow, Dave. Here we go. Watch out for the cargo plane. He's racing you down there. No, he's got a long way to go. You're fine. You're fine. Oh, and he's off. And he's got a long sort of slow takeoff. And there he goes. <laughs> I want to see this guy. This is a big, this is a big one. This is a big one. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. Look at that. And he's gone. Yep, I know my cargo setup isn't the best ever, but I'm just loving the way this circle in the middle here is working. Planes are banking, planes are mostly avoiding each other, landing, taking off, and it is just looking absolutely fantastic. That plane is going to get very close to that other one unless he speeds up. The green one in the background took off just in time. Look at that. So, yeah, they're waiting for each other there. Okay, let's just, let's just let them do their thing. They're mostly okay. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Any other ideas? ideas you'd like me to test out with the airports dlc then let me know and subscribe so you don't miss out on all the other exciting things we're going to discover with this amazing addition to this game so thank you very much for your support have a fantastic day and i will see you all very soon take care bye bye